today we are sewing our nigella so my nigella fresh every year for a few reasons number one is it's not as hardy as some of the other hardy annuals so it's best kept in the greenhouse over the winter you might find that you have some self-seeded plants out in the garden however if we get a hard winter, you'll probably find that they get wiped out. They look good, don't they? Now they're not as hardy as some of the other plants we've been putting out. They're only a H3, which is why they haven't been planted yet, but they're gonna go down here next door to the sweet William. The reason is they will cross pollinate. The job of the insect is to clamber all over the flower and transfer the pollen from one part of the flower to the other. However, they do like to travel as you can see and that means if you've got lots of varieties in your garden you will get a good deal of cross pollination as you transfer the pollen from the stamens of this flower to this flower. If you're very lucky you might end up with a nice little blend however more likely and certainly if they self-seed again they're just going to revert back to the true wild form and personally in my garden if I'm going to go to the bother of growing anything or giving up garden space that is I want to make sure it's the best possible version of that variety as I can possibly get. So I've carefully snipped off the top of my seed packet. I want to keep this nice because it reminds me of what we're growing in the greenhouse and we can pop that on the fridge during the dark days of winter to cheer me up. There we go and I've opened my foil and I've tipped my nigella seeds into the palm of my hand and I'm going to take a dibber. I'm going to start in the middle just so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to make an impression and then I'm going to drop one seed per cell, that's the best I can. You've got plenty of seeds here, so if you drop two seeds in per cell, then you can always just snip the weaker one out of a pair of scissors and that will save disturbing the stronger plant. Now I found it's not that Nigella dislikes root disturbance per se. I have successfully pricked out seedlings and potted them on into their own cells. It's just that the root system is very delicate and it does not hold on to compost well. This one here is a Nigella seedling. And again, they say they don't like root disturbance. It's not that they don't like root disturbance. It's just that they don't make a nice neat root ball. And it can be very easy to dislodge the roots and then once they're dislodged from the compost the plant can perish it's much easier to move them when the weather's cooler and they're not pulling so much moisture from the roots much easier for them to survive but i tend to leave them to make great big root balls and plugs before planting and then i find I'll, i get on much better so i'm going to carefully move him into a 15 cell tray or a pot and then i won't plant him out until he's made quite a robust plant. We'll do it together and I'll show you. And then all I'm gonna do is just lightly cover the seeds over to put them in the darkness. As a slight change to the seeds that we've sown so far, Nigella benefits from a bit of darkness to aid germination. So I just made a small impression in the compost and then gently covered the seeds over. You can, if you want to, just sow them on the soil surface and then give them a good sifting of compost on top if you prefer. And I'm just going to fold over my foil and then pop it back into the envelope. So I've got my spare seeds in case I need to sow another seed later on. So next we're planting our nigella, the usual 22 centimetres apart. Now the roots are really delicate, so make sure that you don't yank it out of the seed tray. You need to push it from underneath. 
These are the nigella. I'm trying to get as close as I can for you. So these are the nigella. They can look freakily like the larkspur, but they are a little bit more slender and a little bit more delicate with the ferny foliage. So it seems only fitting that we show you the nigella next. Now I've got two patches of nigella. This is the cut flower mix that was available in our autumn jump starter seed shop. So it's the one that you've got and you can see it looks a lot different from the larkspur. Now it's a much shorter plant, but this is a much bigger flowering variety of nigella than most. And there's three different colors in this one seed packet. So looking forward to this flowering. You can find all the information on sowing and growing nigella in your autumn jump starter handbook and we've also got a note here under the checklist where darkness aids germination and they dislike root disturbance.